subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Clouded Leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go! I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock! I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing! What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother, since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub. We have to save it. But we can't get there. This should work. Let's go! Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. Leo, the vines are breaking. The cub will fall into the water. I know what to do. I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time! What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the clouded leopard's mother, just look for rustling leaves. 
not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but look for rustling leaves. I see. So not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling leaves. leaves. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mother of the clouded leopard cub, you have to look for rustling leaves. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be its mother. Did you hear that? Could it be the cub's mother? Hmm. This animal has stripes on its fur. It's a tiger. Let's continue. Did you hear some rustling leaves? Can it be the cub's mother? Yikes, that's a snake. Better keep looking. Is that the cub's mother? It has the same cloud-like spots. It must be the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sumatran rhinoceros. Hero, here, boy! Hi, everybody. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm going to close my eyes and count to ten. You hide, and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three... Eight, nine, ten. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby Rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother, then. 
Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder! <gasps> run! She's still injured! She can't run! I'll distract the rhino! I'll take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew! That was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the rhino's mother, just look for a hot spring. Not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring, but look for a hot spring. I see. So not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring, but, but look, look for, for a, a hot, hot spring. spring. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, hero. To find the young rhino's mother, you have to look for a hot spring. Good luck! Okay, Hero. There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the rhino's mother. Can you see what those are? Yeah, those are just rocks. Let's continue. There's no hot spring here, but those are strange markings in the dirt. We must be getting close. Is that a hot spring? Yes, it is. And there's a rhino. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Oh, no. That's the rhino that was chasing us earlier. Careful, baby rhino. So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it. We found the mother of the baby rhino. Yay! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The giant panda. Hmm, a bit of green here and... Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> this? Oh, I'm painting the garden. But it's missing something. Hmm... <gasps> That's it! Hero, go sit over there, then I'll paint you in it. <coughs> Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This 
looks a bit strange. Wait, why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, Bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There. A panda, also known as panda bear, or a giant panda. A giant panda? But it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. at the mountain and brr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Oh no, the young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <coughs> Great, we'll follow you. Hey, I saw something black and white behind that rock. Oh my, it's not the young panda, it's a raccoon! Sorry, raccoon! Can you smell the young panda, Hero? There! Something black and white behind those plants! <laughs> oh dear! It's a mother goat with her children! She looks angry! Let's go! I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew! I'm glad that it's safe. Now, where do we find a bamboo forest? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Now, if you want to find the bamboo forest, just look for sticks that are green and tall. Not for a bouncing ball, or your sister's baby doll. But look for sticks that are green and tall. I see. So not for a bouncing ball, or your sister's baby doll. But, but look, look for, for sticks, sticks that are, that are green, green and, and tall. tall. Okay, Hero. To find a bamboo forest, you have to look for sticks that are green and tall. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a bamboo forest. Are those bamboo plants? No, those are palm trees. Let's move on. Can you tell what those are? Yes, those are rocks. So let's continue. 
What are those? Those are sticks, tall and green. So they must be bamboo plants. We found the bamboo forest. Good job, Hero. We'll be right there. We did it. We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone. Yippee! <laughs> found a young giant panda in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sunda Slow Loris. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. What is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid, we won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal, I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Did you find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A Slow Loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the Slow Loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too, which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. The slow loris fell out. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Uh. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh no! Slow Loris! Hey, what just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow Loris' fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow Loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now let's get you back to the jeep. Hmm, what should we look for now? 
Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Sunda slow lorises are solitary animals, which means they like to be alone. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, just look for a tree with a lot of space. Not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace. But look for a tree with a lot of space. I see. So not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace, but, but look, look for, for a tree, tree with a lot, with a lot of, of space. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the slow loris, you have to look for a tree with a lot of space. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a tree with a lot of space. What about this tree? Oh, there's a python in this tree. Let's keep looking. So what about this tree? Hmm, this tree is full of monkeys. There's no space for our slow loris here. So let's continue. Is this a tree with a lot of space? Yes, it is. There are no other animals in this tree. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> found a Sunda slow loris in our garden. We learned that the slow lorises should not be kept as pets, but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda slow loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>